class today has to do with the objectiveness and longevity in their rich materials and wood species and the block to farrowing house in the large gestation group setting. So I'll present to you the outcome of two trials carried out at the IFIP experimental station. Right. All right, a little bit of background information. Under existing regulations, um, you need a suboptimal object per housing. It has to be destructible. Uh, destroyable and uh, made of organic material. So there was a lot of work on fattening pigs. And the goal was to understand the behaviors expressed for those objects and to make sure that the subjects better meet the needs of those uh, behaviors and also more durable objects. So there have been very little work on sales. And this is why in our trials, we decided to test new equipments or rather new solutions while taking into account both their attractiveness and their longevity, how long they would last uh, under the sow's influence. So we tested different objects. Uh, and regarding just dating uh, sows, we try to look at which uh, would the species they prefer. So materials and methods for our first trial on uh, board pens. Uh, so three cohorts, 72 sows were tested, and four objects were tested, including the so-called uh, cylinder, uh, that we place between uh, two uh, sows, uh, a slat uh, in front of the sow, another smaller uh, seven by seven a slat. We call it the octopus. The other t the other slat is ten by ten, and we use an easy fix, uh, mostly used for gestating sows, and we also tested it for boar pens. So we created uh, blocks in all three cohorts, uh, six blocks of uh, four uh, sows based on parity. And every week we change the position of the object at the end. Each sow has been exposed to each object for one week. So weight readings uh, were performed for every rotation. We also monitored behavior, scan sampling of three minutes for one hour, a half an hour after each meal for two days. Why after each meal? Because that's when the cells are the most active. And we did this twice a week, 24 hours after putting in the objects and 24 hours before rotating them. We looked at posture and various behaviors that I'll tell you more about in a minute. All right, the variables included uh, used the uh, behavior percentage. We carried out the parametric uh, uh, test. Because the variable did not have a normal distribution, we tested the impact of the enrichment measure, the cohort, the parity impacts in particular, and the weak impacts. So results of the first trial, in terms of the duration, one week was not enough. The exposure wasn't long enough to uh, ascertain whether or not the object was deteriorated. But in terms of behavior, the results are interesting. So the main behavior expressed is 37.4% uh, lack of activity. And then we have investigative and exploration behaviors, 30% mostly. The cells explore the cage in, in, to the 27% exploration of the object. And then we have a 30% uh, uh, stereotypical behavior. I'd like to draw your attention to or there's a systematic parity impact, just like in literature, we saw that the youngest cells with lower parities are more active. If we look at the investigative behaviors, there's an object-based effect, but only for exploration vis-a-vis -vis the cage and the object. Regarding the crate, when a sow is dealing with a cylinder, it tends to explore the crate more, so it shows less interest in the object. But per a cohort, uh, that uh, impact disappears. But when it comes to the object, uh, things are more powerful. And if you look at the outcome per object, starting with the cylinder, that was the least attractive object. Why? As you can see on the video, it's pretty mobile. It's not easy to grab for the sow. Diameter is eight centimeters. Sometimes it gets away, which makes it even less accessible. And also it's super hard. Second object, the slat. A wooden slat, again, 10 by 10, was too big uh, for the sow to grab it. Uh, with his teeth, and that's why they they didn't show much interest in it. 
And then we have that natural uh, rubber uh, object that was uh, more popular, significantly more popular than the cylinder. But I'd like to draw your attention to the distribution. There's a dot all the way at the top. This means that during one 60-minute exploration, we had one cell that spent 100% of its time chewing on the object. So we took a closer look and we realized that that's mostly stereotypical behavior in that case. So we have extreme behaviors for that object. Instead of uh, chewing everything else, it chewed that particular object, which is pretty attractive. But of course, there is typical behaviors that we need to factor in uh, for nuance purposes. And last, and then we have a slat uh, fixed to the ground. It's smaller, easier to grab. It's mobile, but not too much. And lastly, wood is a distortable material, which is pretty attractive to cells. So much for the first trial. The second trial had to do with gestating cells, and we looked at the different wood species. Again, 72 uh, different uh, cells, uh, a dynamic uh, setup in a large pen. So we used uh, oak tree, maple tree, beech tree, and scots pine. So only four of them. And we rotated every three weeks to avoid a position-driven impact in the crate. So video monitoring once a week, we performed continuous monitoring for two hours and a half to identify our chewing, lifting behaviors, etc. Sometimes we didn't know what the cell was doing. We could tell it was playing with the object, but uh, the angle of the camera was such that we couldn't see exactly what the cell was doing. So, and also in terms of object deterioration, we looked at how frequently we had to replace the object. So, the, uh, variables include duration of use in seconds, observation, and we carried out a variance analysis, taking into account the different effects that would the species impact in particular. Now, the conclusions are strong. Scott Spine is the favorite in terms of time in use rather than the other three wood species for which there's no significant difference. If we look at the figures here, what's interesting is that we have 7,000, rather 1,782 seconds on average. That's the time of use for the oak tree. But basically, we have an object in Scott's spine that is being used by cells 80% of the time. So clearly, uh, it's a favorite. Now, we wonder, how come there's such a difference? We knew it has to do with hardness of the object, but we found quantified data from CIRA, so different variables make it possible to quantify hardness of the different root species. So the MONA hardness, density, and also the axial compression, rupture, uh, stress. And uh, there are similar hardness characteristics between the first three root species, and the scot spine is different. So how do you explain those physical mechanical uh, properties? Well, renewal is different depending on the sweet species. The average life in use for oak tree and, and, uh, and maple is 15 or 18 days versus three days. Uh, the scot spine element was replaced 24 times as opposed to just twice for oak and maple. Now, price per unit wasn't representative of reality. Uh, we had it all made by a carpenter, and the unit cost is high. And the and obviously, the price for Scott Spine is much higher than for Maple. Now, attractiveness, as underlined by the bibliography, and it's true for our trials as well, a, an object that you can distort is more attractive than a hard object. So the cylinder was hard, was less attractive than the others. The rubber object is a popular choice. In the bore pen, we had cases of stereotypical behavior, so we need to uh, dig deeper when it comes to rubber objects, but it's a good alternative. Wood is uh, popular. It uh, sparks exploration by the cells. It was true for post weaning it was true for fattening pigs, and also for cells. Also, variability is driven by how hard the wood species is. Accessibility is important again. The cell test showed it. And also, the more fragile the material, the more often you need to renew it, and this means it's more costly. Lastly, enrichment measures uh, would, in particular, have to be adapted based on the physiological, physiological stages. Now, check out the frequently asked questions, particularly when it comes to which woods are suitable depending on the physiological stage. Thank you very much for your attention, and thank you, Minapol, for your financial support to those two trials.